Greetings everybody, this is Shadowstar here on Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID, and welcome back to my Let's Play series for Crash Bandicoot 3 from the Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy. And just in case anybody has missed any other of my Crash Bandicoot Let's Play videos, I will leave the playlist links for you in the video description down below, to which will include one for the entirety of the Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, and the other one for the individual Crash Bandicoot games, so for this one, it'll be Crash Bandicoot 3. And just a quick recap for anybody who didn't miss the previous video. I continued continued on finishing completing the other levels of the third of the fourth warp room area. I don't know why I said the third one there. But basically what that would that what that would entail is me getting the fourth colored gem, which was the blue gem in the Tomb Waider level. Finishing off the Sphinxinator with the Sphinxinator level, which was another tomb based level. Which, which also did include me getting both of the clear, of the clear gems in that level, and finishing off the third uh, jet ski, jet ski, or yeah, they call it jet ski base level. And now, in kicking off this one, as you can tell, I'm doing the f one of the, the hall. Helicopter? What did I say? Helicopter. I'm in aeroplane base levels. Sorry, my brain is having a complete meltdown today. I don't know why. Stupid aeroplanes. Get out of my way. Let me shoot down your blimp and then I'll leave the level alone. And of course, after I finish this this level, the bye-bye blimps, which I've just done, I will be moving on to face boss number four of five which is Dr. Engine, and just in case anybody who hasn't played the original Crash Bandicoot 3 <coughs> or is still new to the Crash Bandicoot franchise altogether, this is, I believe, one of the few boss levels where you can actually fight where it's a, a Coco-based only level. Coco-based only level for a boss fight. Yeah, because the other boss boss battles that uh, you come across, it's basically been you have to play as Crash Bandicoot, even though the games are pretty much named after Crash. Uh -oh. I definitely love the redesign work that they've done with this uh, like boss battle, because the previous version, previous iteration of this boss battle was. Just Graphic, graphic wise, it was there. Uh, and in this one, I could definitely tell what is going on a lot more clearly, if that makes sense. Also, I should mention to everybody if you do hear me hesitating or stuttering with any of my sentences, with me being an autistic individual, talking is not one of my strongest points, but I do try anyway. Also, if you do hear me staying silent during certain cutscenes and/or gameplay sections, for the cutscenes, it's because I want to give everybody a chance to hear what is going on during the cutscene. And for the gameplay section, it's because I'm trying to stay laser focused whilst taking out all the bad guys and staying alive. Okay then, so that's stage one of the Dr. Engine. And that boss battle done. Oh look, we're joined by the Tiger in his own space pod, giving, giving Coco's uh, spaceship a much needed upgrade. And Dr. Engine is uh, got his own upgrade, but uh, he will soon find out that uh, when it comes to the sm brain, to the Brainiac department, Coco is the superior one. Sorry, my nose has been really itchy today. Yeah, basically, you just need to take out each of the weapon, weapon sections of uh, Engine's mech to finish him off. As you can tell, I got rid of one of the guns on the side, so his health his health uh, went down a little bit. And again, almost there. Yeah, my my helpful tip of the video would be to just keep dodging his attacks. That way, you'll survive longer and got me my favorite ability which is none other than the fruit bazooka now really stepping up my game 
Yeah, 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 Uka Uka. Cortex. So basically, the fifth and the final warp room area, we will be going mano a mano with those two. But not before doing the other, the other levels. Okay then, so that is that done. Before I actually decide on which level to undertake first in the final area of the warp room, I will give everybody a quick uh, uh, show and tell of what, what levels uh, lie ahead. And as you can see there, the fifth and the final color gem level, that is the other aeroplane base level. And also, if anybody is unaware, the bug light level that came up on level 25, that is the level that ha that houses the super obstacle course for Crash Bandicoot 3. Oh, I love this fruit bazooka. Yeah, when it comes to the fruit bazooka, if anybody is still what if is uh, concerned about ammunition, I shall put your fears to rest. There is no ammunition cost for the fruit bazooka. So, go nuts, I say. Haha, -ha, finally. I shall break these two boxes and proceed over to the next gap. I really thought I was going to fall off that carpet then. I shall quickly dispose of these pe of these goons in the windows. I wish to stop me by flaming flaming debris and if anybody ha has, an, has not seen my non-commentary walkthrough video on how to achieve all the colored gems throughout Crash Bandicoot 3 but basically for to get the green gem you have to make it to the death route platform without dying and if you do die unfortunately you do have to exit the level and try it again Also, I will be posting the non the my the non commentary walkthrough video link of my uh, walk of my video of my walkthrough guide on how to achieve all the color gems throughout Crash Bandicoot 3 in the video description, along with the playlists for my Let's Play series. So make sure to keep an eye out for those. Avoid the fire, because there is the death row platform, ladies and gentlemen. And now to take it to proceed over to the, well, basically the area with the green gem. Uh, that is both annoying and actually works out in my favor, because now I can actually demonstrate to everybody who is still wondering about whether the death group platform will disappear because uh, I suddenly died whilst in the death group platform area. Because now I am simply going to get past this section and then just simply take the death group platform again. So yes, if you do manage to get to the death group platform, access the area like I did. And if you do suddenly die in that area, you don't need to worry about the platform suddenly becoming or platform or area suddenly be suddenly becoming unavailable because you can attempt it as many times as you want. And no, those metal checkpoint boxes do not count as uh, uh, boxes towards your overall total, unfortunately. Oh, damn it, I'm out of that. So, that goon is out of range of my bazooka. Oh, how I love my fruit bazooka. Wait for it. And I gotta go now. Oh, I definitely cut that close. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. I have acquired the green gem and the last of the colored gems. So I have officially got 
all five out of five. But now I'm gonna have to backtrack just a little bit. But I want to. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I kind of did that on purpose because yeah, I wanted to get back to the, that checkpoint. I wanted to scout ahead, and then come back to the checkpoint, and then I'm gonna backtrack just a little bit because I want to get all the boxes throughout the level, so I am able to acquire the triple whammy. And what I mean by that is, ladies and gentlemen, is that I have managed to collect the crystal and the gems through that have uh, that are situated throughout the current level. I mean, so for this one, I mean. I um, I will be acquiring the crystal, the green gem, and the clear gem. So that is the triple whammy. And I shall be doing... And it's a similar terminology I use whenever I go for the double clear, the clear gem levels whenever I can. For, however, there are some levels that I am unable to acquire the triple whammy. Example being the Sphinxinator level. I basically had to get each of the gems separately as soon as I've acquired the blue gem if that makes sense to everybody uh, this bonus level shall be a breeze we shall initiate my s my not secret weapon my favorite weapon Get in range. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Acquire all of the, the Wumpa fruit. Yeah, don't do what I just did. Get rid of all the bouncy boxes. Make sure that you leave one standing. Or at least uh, two. Try and make the gap, the jump across the gap, a li that little bit easier. Unless, of course, you're feeling brave like me, like I was, and get rid of all the bouncy boxes and use the super spin to, or the death tornado spin to glide across the gap. Ah. Ah, so there is no green metal switch box at the end. My memory's a bit foggy on that department. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Count it down with me. So, got the gem. I got the clear gem. And I got the color gem 5 out of 5. So that is the triple whammy. Dance away, Crash. You've heard it. But now... Yeah, I'm not going back into that one. I'm going to be doing the third motorcycle base level. The orange asphalt level. And again, I will be breaking this level down into two separate parts. One, one, of, the, one of the runs throughout this level. One of the parts throughout this uh, level will be going for the, for the crystal. And the other part will be going for the gem. So for this one, I am going to be going for the the crystal and then when I, in the second part of the level I will be going for the gem so I'm up to fourth can I keep up the momentum it is possible if anybody is wondering to acquire both the gem and the crystal in one run however I rather take the safe option when it comes to these approaches, to this approach, I just get both them in two separate runs. Oh boy! Avoid the moving police car. Up and over I go!
Oh, you cheeky son. We're going to be having words. Using your dirty tricks on me. I'm trying to get first place. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, crud. I could have had it all in one, but I missed that. Oh, one box. Shoot. Looks like I'm going to have to be coming back. Okay, then, so back and I go to the orange asphalt level. Yeah, and... Yeah, like I mentioned at the start of the level, I'm going to be breaking down into two separate runs, but as I demonstrated there, it is possible to get both the gem and the crystal in one run as long as you get all the boxes. With Twitch, I almost did, but... Oh, so close! It was that one darn box of the ramp. Okay, so I'm back up to fourth. Oi! Cheeky sod. Gotta be close to the finish now. Come on, come on. Ag. Not much of a boost. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm back up to first. Just too bad there is no... Oh, I thought was, I was not going to be get, getting that box then. Wow, well, ladies and gentlemen... That is how you achieve... Oh, for crying out loud, Crash, really? <laughs> okay then, so I switched it up as Coco, because I thought I might as well keep up the momentum to go into. Um, another one of my favorite base levels, this Futuristic City. The Gone Tomorrow level, which is another double clear gym level. And just in case anybody is wondering what my plans are of going into the level, I will be going for the triple whammy. Yeah, to get rid of those robots up right up ahead, just dodge their two missile attacks, or three missile attacks, and then just attack the target on their backside. Yeah, and the reason why I double jumped up to the top of that tower of boxes is just in case there was a, another hidden box on top. Because those are the most annoying to get. So that's one, two, three. Kaboom! Oh, how I love the fruit bazooka. Yeah, unfortunately, to act to activate or reveal those hidden boxes there, I need to go along. Oh, never mind. I just I needed to hit the metal switch box that was up ahead. Just get these two metal boxes on the metal switch boxes on the side. And thank you very much. Hey, goodbye. I'm going to leave that where it is because that... Okay, never mind. Yeah. I can do the double jump. Well, if I'm really feeling brave, I'll just do the bazooka shoot. Basically, to reveal the hidden box that on top of that Tower of Three, I need to go be going along the green gym route. 
And of course, if anybody is new to my channel and you do like what you see, feel free to hit the thumbs up icon down below along with leaving a comment. I always enjoy hearing what everybody thinks of the current video. Also, if you are new to the channel and you do like what you see, feel free to hit the, the subscribe button down below along with the bell so you can receive notifications for when new content has been released onto the channel. And of course, if you are a, re are a returning subscriber, you truly are an awesome individual and I look forward to hearing what you think of the current video. Just making sure the TNT box actually went through. Ag! Not what I wanted. That death was actually on purpose. Because, you know, again, to reveal the hidden box that was underneath the ro the pathway of metal boxes, again, I need to go along the green gem route. That's uh, hidden in this level. I want to require all the one fruit in those boxes. Thank you very much. Okay, so all those boxes are going through. First things first, the bonus. Might as well get out the way. Fruit bazooka. Thank you. Okay, so no boxes hidden underneath that row of uh, metal boxes. Only four more boxes to go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that. Okay, then back up to the main pathway. Get rid of that. Uh, sp uh, spike arch. Whatever it's called. And here we are. The green gem platform. Yep. Just in case anybody is wondering on how to 100% this level, make sure that you've acquired the green gem before going into this level. Just explode all these boxes right here. Get out, the, get out the explosion radius. Okay, the reason for that transaction there is because the original recording for this was all fine, but literally about two minutes before going into the video editing process it is just decided to corrupt itself when I got up to that scene so I cut out all the corrupt corrupted scenes given up to the part that where it's working again so again I do apologize in advance for that I have absolutely zero idea why it did all that So back back along this route again, as you can see there. There are two boxes underneath the bad metal pathway appeared. So now I only have seven more boxes to go. Yep, I won't be taking that pathway again. Deal with the robot first. Use the bazooka. Head over to the finishing stretch. <sighs> the last three boxes are literally in my sights. And there we are. That is all of the boxes. Just get past this robot. 
acquired the clear gem. Oh, I thought I was going to get hit then. And there we go. That is another level where I have achieved the triple whammy. So, stay with me. That's a one. I got the crystal. That's two. Got one of the clear gems. And that's a three. The triple whammy, everybody. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this episode here. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. So until next time, everybody, I've been Shadowstar or Maximus72 for my PlayStation ID. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.